Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Chairman of the Board of Management, Audi AG, Rupert Stadler. Good morning and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Audi. Ladies and gentlemen, two months after the debut of the new Audi Q7 in Detroit, we are presenting to you here today the e-tron version of the Q7. Let me tell you what makes it unique. It's its powertrain. It's the world's first diesel plug-in hybrid with quattro drive. The huge success of the SUV segment, of course, raises the question as to whether the big cars are slowing us down in our fight against CO2. Have a look at how little this Audi Q7 e-tron Quattro consumes over 100 kilometers. It's a sensationally low number of 1.7 liters per 100 kilometers, 138 US or 166 Imperial MPG, which means that CO2 emissions are below 50 grams per kilometer. The Audi Q7 e-tron Quattro has the best drag coefficient in its class, and it is as agile as a typical conventional passenger car. In six seconds, it accelerates from zero to 100 kilometers an hour. In pure electric mode, it can have a range of up to 56 kilometers. And this, too, is quite simply a benchmark in this class. In all versions of the Q7, of course, we have new driver assistance systems, first of all for evasive maneuvers, then for backing up with a trailer, for pulling, braking and pulling away in congestion, and we have an assistant for predictive driving. Then infotainment. Here, the Audi virtual cockpit is a benchmark. In the e-tron, it displays the battery charge and, logically, the range. And we also have the Audi tablet on board, which has integrated into it Google, Android, Auto, and Apple CarPlay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's cars like these, sporty, efficient, and innovative, that have been giving us such a great tailwind. We just went through the most successful year in history of our company. More than 1.74 million cars were sold, which is an increase of 10.5 percent compared to the previous year. And one thing that is especially remarkable is that we delivered one million more cars last year than was the case just 10, 12 years ago. Between now and 2019, our companies will be invested, investing 24 billion euros in future Audi success. And of course, what's important here is our future CO2 initiative, also the connected car, then key technologies such as piloted driving. And of course, we'll be investing in many, many new cars, our cavalcade of new models between now and 2019. And now we're going to continue in that same vein very emotionally, as is appropriate for Geneva. Enjoy the show, and thanks for being here.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Audi Prologue Avant. Please welcome the member of the Board of Management Technical Development, Professor Dr. Ulrich Hackenberg. Ladies and gentlemen, Audi had more than 20 years ago, Audi invented the sporty estate or station wagon, and Audi called it the Avant. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we know that the Avant was a true innovation. And for this reason, in the future too, it will be a fixture in the Audi lineup. The Audi Prologue Avant represents what our brand is all about, a perfect, perfect premium driving experience. It's sporty, emotional, it's connected, sustainable, and all of this thanks to progressive technology. Our new design language sums this all up perfectly. But we'll now hear more about this from the man who, with his team, creates the Audi design of the future. Please welcome with me our head designer, Mark Lichte. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. After the first prologue, you've come up with another great car. You should present it to us. Tell us what's so special about it. I'd be pleased to. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, at Audi, we designers are always looking for the perfect symbiosis of function and aesthetics. And Audi is sporty and progressive. And for this reason, in our progressive design, we always have state-of-the-art technology as an element of it. And with our no prologue, we are showing exactly where Audi is going in the future with its design. And with this car, we're going one step further than in the past. The Audi Prologue Avant combines the aesthetics of the prologue with maximum functionality. The car, I can promise you, gives you a very concrete impression of future Avant design. The front end shows you that we're going to become much more sporty with the horizontal single frame. The headlights are very straightforward and they emphasize the width. And here for the first time, you see our new e-tron signature for daytime running lights. On the side, we see SQs a very striking horizontal roof, which generates a lot of interior. And in contrast to that, we have a steeply inclined D-pillar, which gives us functionality in com combination with sporty aesthetics. And this effect is strengthened by a rear end that is leaning to the front. So it gives you a very strong sense of power. Now let's look at the interior. It's like a lounge. All of the lines are horizontal. In other words, the driver and the pa passengers can communicate with each other interactively, and they do this via touch displays. And these displays are integrated almost invisibly in the instrument panel architecture. And this is Forsprung der Technik made visible. Thanks, Mark. And I can promise you and all of you, ladies and gentlemen, that the ideas for new technical innovations are not coming to an end here. We're going to be focusing on these things in the future, too. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Forsprung Dirk Technik. That's what you see here in the Audi Prologue Avant. And you see this with co in combination with sportiness and efficiency. As a plug-in hybrid with inductive charging, it combines an economical diesel engine with an electric motor and kicks out a total of 455 horsepower. Its electric range of more than 50 kilometers is just right for city driving, of course. The performance is also expressed in acceleration in 5.5 one seconds, it'll accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour and consumes in the test cycle just 1.6 liters per 100 kilometers, 147 US or 176 Imperial MPG. Top performance and systematic sustainability in pioneering design. This is the Audi Prologue Avant. Top performance and sportiness have always been a fascinating combination for Audi and my colleague Luca De Meo will now tell us more about that. Luca, come on up on stage, please. Thank you, Professor Hackenberg. Thank you, Mark. 
Ladies and gentlemen, after our concept car, beautiful concept car, we have another highlight here for you. Since its first generation, it's been a brand legend. Since 2007, it's been in our lineup and it immediately went into the Mount Olympus of sports cars. It is the spearhead of our pro product portfolio from the word go. It generated passion for the Audi brand, and it's one reason why there are so many people who love the automobile industry. And, of course, it's a magnet for all of our Audi employees, too. The new R8 will give us our next move up in terms of sportiness at Audi amongst other reasons, due to the technical ingenuity we've put into the car. For instance, lightweight design, lightweight construction. The body is 15% lighter now. The laser lights now have a range of up to 600 meters. And the car's performance is even better now. The R8 V10 Plus is the first R8 that takes less than 10 seconds to sprint up to 200 kilometers an hour. Now, of course, racing is in its genetic makeup. Its mission is to bring racing technology to our customers. It hails from our small-scale production line in Nekazulm, made by people with a passion for car building. And now, let's hear from someone who is a real profi and an expert for our sports car. In a minute, you will see our new Audi R8, 610 horsepower, pure emotion, the fastest Audi of all time. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. I'm Tom Christensen. I was a racing driver for Audi Sport. Now I'm retired. I won the 24 of Le Mans nine times. They kindly call me Mr. Le Mans. The innovations that Audi brings to the racetrack always fascinate me. The R8 is born at Le Mans. Over the years, the Audi R8 won the most important races in the world. <sighs> Green Hell, 24 of Nürburgring. Spa von Grochamp. And sometimes we even had fun teasing our competitors. Hey guys, I take the car to Geneva. <laughs> wow. High tech meets high feel, a masterpiece of technology and the new spearhead for driving dynamics and progressive design. Introducing the new Audi R8 V10 Plus. From the road to the racetrack, the Audi R8 LMS, our new GT3 race car.
And finally, the Audi R8 e-tron. Electrifying performance. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the race drivers Rahel Fry, Eduardo Mortara, and Mr. Le Mans, Tom Christensen. Tom. Ja, welcome. Herzlich willkommen. Du freust dich sicherlich auf die GT3-Saison. I'm sure you're looking forward to the GT3 season. It's going to be great. Beautiful new cars. Competition, we're looking forward to that too. Eduardo, you're looking very fit. You're, the DTM season is just around the corner. We're really counting on you. Thank you. Tom. How was it to uh, drive here to Geneva, the car we really did our utmost to make that a perfect car for you here? What's your feeling? Outstanding trip here, that car really is and always was, even more so. Now just great, superb, supreme, it's even faster, even more agile, even more precise. It's my dream car, really. Well, that's great to hear that uh, from a race driver like that. It's a compliment to our development engineers. Thank you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, three times Audi R8. That's three global debuts. The Audi R8 V10 Plus is the most powerful mid-engine sports car in the history of Audi, 5.2 liters. V10, naturally in, uh, induction engine, 610 horsepower, top road speed, 330 kilometers an hour. That is a true experience. The new Audi R8 has racing genes. It's got quattro drive with electro-hydraulic multi-plate clutch. It has a very stiff body with Audi space frame technology and integrated uh, carbon structural components. And ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time, we're presenting to you here today the street version and the racing version of a new model at the same time. Here on my left hand side, you have the new Audi R8 LMS, our GT3 race car for global racing for customer sport. And you can see that in 2015 with our Audi R8 LMS at the Nürburgring and in Spa. They'll take their place at the starting line. 24 hour races, customer sports. That's an excellent test bed for new technologies. What you see here is that you have electromobility in its most emotional form. Next to me here, the Audi R8 e-tron, second generation. It's powerful. It's sporty, it's efficient, and it is suitable for everyday use. That's very important. Our battery, electric, high-performance sports cars are pace setters for long-range electromobility at Audi. New battery technologies, 90 kilowatt hours of storage capacity, powertrain with 340 kilowatts of output and more efficiency. The Audi R8 e-tron is a super sports car with an electric range of more than 450 kilometers. Incidentally, I drove this car yesterday myself from Ingolstadt to Genf, and it was really a lot of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, the new R8 family is very important for our success formula of Vorsprung durch Technik. It is brimming with sportiness. Thank you for much, very much for your attention, and now you can come up and have a look at these cars. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen.